Hello everyone, this is Thang Nguyen. Today I'm showing you how to draw the C chart in Excel. After you download the Excel example, you will see the following. First of all, we see that there are 30 units in our sample. The units here can be the customers, can be the flights, can be the cars. So in the second part, you, you will see the number of errors that the units have. For example, unit 1 has 2 errors, unit 2 has 3 errors on and on. In the third part, you will see the calculation templates where we calculate all of the values to draw the C chart. And finally, we see the C chart. So let's start everything from the beginning. I will delete all the values in the calculation template. And we also delete the C chart. So let's start. In the first step, we would need to specify the number of errors. So we do not have to do much. In uh, sample one, we just do that as equal the number of errors of sample one. And then uh, for other sample, we just drag it across from sample one. So at uh, this point, we have the individual number of errors. Next, we calculate the C bar, which will show the center line of the chart. So we calculate that as equal average all of the uh, individual numbers of errors. So at this point, we have the C bar uh, value, and we need to copy that to be the same everywhere. So I would go to the second cell, equal the first cell and we drag it from the second cell on. In the next step, we would calculate the upper control limit equals C bar plus 3 times the square root of C bar. And for the lower control limit equals C bar minus 3 times the square root of C bar. We get a negative lower control limit. But the number of errors cannot be negative. So at this point, you can either replace that negative number with 0, or you can use a function in Excel. So to make it more general, I would use the max function. Uh, so we take the maximum between that calculated value and zero. So if the calculated value is negative, then we take in zero, like in, in this example. But if the calculated value is positive, then we keep that as is. After we have the upper and lower control limit values, we can copy them to be the same everywhere. So I would go to the second cell, equal the first cell, the second cell equals the first cell, and we drag uh, across from the second cells. So we are ready to draw the C chart. I would highlight all the labels and the values together. And we go to insert, we click on chart, we choose the chart option with markers so that we can identify which line is which. At this point, we have the basic C chart. You can put in the chart title, you can expand it to be wider so that we can see more details, and you can play around with other options to polish up the chart. Thank you for watching.